Hi guys, the notification for SNAP 2022 is out. SNAP is an exam that you typically take for entrance into MBA programs uh, at all the all the you all the colleges that can come under the Symbiosis International University. So the Symbiosis group of institutes, there are about 15 colleges and 25 courses you can apply through SNAP. So let us quickly take a look at what is it that SNAP is all about in the notification. So to begin with, this is the URL that you have to go to. The URL that you have to go to is www.snaptest.org where you can see the details, very uh, where you can see the various details of uh, you know the overview of the exams any uh, what are the different exams uh, or the colleges which are participating on the home page itself you can see what are the various exam uh, colleges which are participating there is sibm pune sicsr simc siib scmhrd sims sidtm scit among other institutes so there are 15 institutes which are participating in snap and what is given our and on the top you can see you, you, you can see headings using which we can look at each and everything about snap and we are going to know each and everything about snap 2022 all important things through this particular video so let us quickly look at the important dates first when is it that the exam is going to happen the registration commences 4th august thursday that is today the registration start today and the registration closes on 24th november 2022 now typically you will find that snap as an exam the registrations will end at least one or two days before cat this year also they have maintained the same thing so that they get so uh, they, they, they get that kind of registrations as well so on 24th of November is when the registrations will close. Please note that please don't wait till 24th of November to register for SNAP if you have already thought of taking this exam. The reason is uh, uh, the centers that are there, the test city centers that are there, they are limited center, limited centers at uh, limited cities. So you for getting the test city of your priority it makes sense that you register as soon as possible and lock everything right because there are three different exams that you can take so admit card will be live for three different tests on three different days that is given over here so snap is going to be a computer-based test the first test can uh, is going to happen on december 10 2022 the second test on december 18 the third test on december 23rd so one change from the last year if you look at it is that they are not uh, con conducting the exam starting in the second week of December till the second week of January, like it happened last year and in 2021. Uh, how is it? How it is going to happen? How it is going to happen actually is that the, all the three tests are going to be conducted in the month of December itself. However, these dates are almost finalized. These dates can change if there are any developments in the market. If they, if monkeypox uh, takes up uh, takes. Uh, you know, it takes the center stage. You don't, you, you never know when these tests are going to be conducted. But yes, for us, this is a start point December 10, December 18th, and December 23rd. These are the three days where the test will happen. So these are three different tests for SNAP. Now, please understand one thing that you need not take all the three tests. However, you can take all the three tests. So whatever tests you take, or whatever number of tests you take, the best out of that score will be considered for admission. So the results of this test will be announced on 10th of January 2023. These are the important instructions given over here. So let's quickly look at the test structure. Okay, so SNAP 2022, the test structure hasn't changed as com in comparison with SNAP 2021. If you look at it, they say there are three sections with no sectional time limit. There is as because there is no sectional time limit available here. It is not mentioned. Order of the sections or the sectional time limit is not mentioned in the table. So I'm saying it. So there are going to be three sections: general English, which will consist of 15 questions, 25 questions in analytical and logical reasoning, quantitative ability, data interpretation, and data sufficiency is another 20 questions, a total of 60 questions, and you get a total of 60 minutes. Each question carries one mark. So 60 questions, 60 minutes, and 60 marks. That's it. Simple, simple, very, very simple ground rules given to SNAP as a paper. So SNAP duration is of 60 minutes. The test 
on all the three days will happen 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Snap test is an objective test. Each question has four response, four choices. So there are no non-MCQ questions here. All questions are going to be MCQs. Each, each answer attracts 25% negative marks. So there is a 0 0.25 negative marks also. That is there. A candidate can appear up to three tests for SNAP. So please note, please take note of this. You can appear up to all the three tests of SNAP. So you can write all the three tests also if you want. You can write only one also if you want. You can write any two also if you want. Till last year, it used to be that the candidate can appear for two out of three tests. However, this year they are saying you can appear for all the three tests for SNAP. Please make note of this. If a candidate appears for more than one test, the higher score will be considered for the final percentile calculation and there will be no normalization. Please note, there is no scaling. There is no normalization across the sections, irrespective of how irrespective of how easy or how difficult a particular, how easy or how difficult a, uh, the questions in a particular test were. So, if I were to be say, I would probably take all the three tests over here. A rigorous process that has been, has been statistically tested will be administered to ensure that unique type of questions are framed under a specific topic across question papers. Normal spread will ensure that there is no unfair advantage to a people who offer a specific test or multiple tests. Now, this is uh, something that is very, very subjective, by the way, though it is statistically tested that the level of difficulty of questions across all the three papers may be made easy. The, the question itself will define whether it is easy or not. So, uh, you, you know, it is very high, highly debatable that the, all the three tests can be normalized in terms of level of difficulty or not. So, as I told you, if I were you, I will take all the three tests so that I don't leave any stone unturned. This will ensure normalization of spread across the three questions. Furthermore, the question papers will be normalized for level of difficulty across all the three sets. No correspondence regarding this will be unfair. And any malpractice use of unfair means is something that you should essentially not do. Essentially not do. So let's look at the overview. What are the different colleges? What are the different colleges that you are going to, uh, that are, that, are accepting the SNAP scores. What are the different colleges? You can apply through the SNAP itself. So it is given that a candidate aspiring to join MBA program will have to register for the SNAP test, pay for the registration fees, register for his or her choice of programs and pay the registration free fee separately for each program. So test ka registration, test ka registration ka fees is something jo alag hai. Uske alawa, you also have to pay registration fees. You also have to pay a registration fees per the program you select. So there are 15 colleges and 25 different programs, as I as I told you. So these are the 15 colleges which are participating in this. These are the 15 colleges which are participating in this. SIBM, SICSR, SCMHRD, SIIB, SIDTM, SIMS, SIMC, SIOM, SCIT, SIHS, SIBM Bengaluru, SSBF, SIBM Hyderabad, SSSS, and SIBM Nagpur. You will see that more, you know, while most of these colleges have, uh, some of these colleges are offering only one program, some of his, them may offer more than one problem, or program. For example, Symbiosis Institute of Business Management, SIBM Pune, is offering two programs. One, which is a core MBA. Two, which is an MBA in innovation and entrepreneurship. Similarly, SICSR has two programs. SCMHRD is offering three programs, right? Please note there are certain very, very niche programs among these also, like agribusiness. MBA in agribusiness being offered by SIIB. MBA in infrastructure development and management offered by SCMHRD. MBA in digital and telecom management being offered by SIDTM. Right, MBA in hospital and healthcare management being offered by SIHS, MBA in sports management being offered by SSSS. So there are different niche kind of programs also over and above the four MBA program that you may aspire to apply to. So these are the 15 colleges and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22, 24, 26. Actually, it is 15 different colleges and 26 different programs being offered through SNAP. Right. Shortlisting and the selection process after SNAP 2022 entrance test. You The second stage of shortlisting is going to happen 
through group exercise and PI and WAT, a personal interview and a written ability test round. And the distribution of marks for that is given over here. So if SNAP will evaluate you out of a total of 100 marks, 50% of those marks will be 50% uh, weightage out of that is given to the SNAP score itself. 10% to group exercise, 30% to PI, 10% to written ability test. That is what will form the total of 100 marks. So you have to do good in each and every one of each and every heads among these so that you ensure your final seat in these institutes. So when it comes to the eligibility part of it, please make sure that when you are filling the form, you go and you are applying for a particular program. When you are filling the form and you are going applying to a particular program, please make sure that you have gone through the eligibility for that program because different programs over here have different eligibility criteria. Like SIBM Nagpur, MBA Food and Agri Business Management has a different kind of a criteria. SCM HRD, MBA in Infrastructure has a different criteria. SIIB has some different criteria for certain programs. SIMS has different criteria for certain programs. While for the core MBA, for the core MBA, most of the institutes will have similar kind of eligibility. But I urge you before filling the form, please make sure you go through the eligibility criteria and check what are the colleges you aspire to go to in, what are the courses you aspire to do, and what is the eligibility for that? Is there a match for that or not before actually going through filling the form itself? Now, how to register? It is again the same things are given, uh, similar things are given over here. Snap test is going to be conducted in three different slots. All the three tests are three different tests, right? Now, you have to register online on the website snaptest.org from 4th August till November 2024. Uh, November 24th, you can do that. You have to upload your latest color passport photograph. Snap test registration and payment process. This is something that we need to be a little careful of, about. So what is what is given over here is that you can pay through a demand draft or you can you, you, you can pay through a demand draft as well. So your snap test fees is 1950 rupees per test. So if you are selecting only one of the three tests, you pay 1950. If you select all the three tests, you pay 1950 into three, which is equal to 5850. Right? Similarly, for the programs that are there, again, the same programs are over here. Program registration fee payment process, process is a different process again. So a candidate aspiring to join MBA program offered at any SIU, any institute of SIU is also required to register as well as pay the registration fee of his or her desired, desired programs before closing, before the date of, uh, before the closing date of program registration fee payment of that particular program. The registration fee is rupees 1000 per program. The registration fee is going to be rupees 1000 per program, and which is also non refundable and non transferable. So, for each and every additional program that you are going to, for each and every program that you are going to select, you have to pay an additional 1000 rupees to apply to that particular program. To that particular program. So, these are certain instructions that are given over here for the remaining as for the remaining of those let us quickly go and see how to go about the form filling of snap 2022 as most of us would be uh most of us would be registering on snaptest.org for the first time let us quickly go to apply now and let us see what happens they are asking us for a snap email id or a password and entering the captcha or uh, if you are a new user, you have to register here. So let me click on register. So what it is giving me is a lot of conditions over here, right? What is it telling me? It is telling me what are the instructions for registration. You have to click on save and continue at each step. You have to read the instructions carefully and click on the I agree button, 
A candidate aspiring for MBA is required to pay rupees 1000 for every additional, uh, you know, after making the payment for SNAP test registration fee, a candidate is required to make rupees 1000 ka payment for every program that he or she aspires to join. Right? For uh, no change in name, date of birth, category, and test date will be entertained once the total payment is finished. Candidates, candidates applying under reserved category, there are certain rules that are given over here. There are certain rules that are given over here that you have to literally take care of. Okay, if anyone wants to apply to SIMS Pune, SIMS Pune under defense category, there are certain documents that you will have to look for. For uh, SIBM Nagpur, there are certain domicile seats and for that, you will find information on sibmnagpur.edu.in and the payment instructions are given over here. There are three modes of payments. You can through uh, all the three modes are online and the fourth mode, which is a demand draft can also be submitted. Okay. For regarding the admit card, regarding the admit card, the candidate is required to download and print his or her snap test admit card on 5th of December. That is from 5th of December onwards. The admit card will be available for the first test. For 10th of December onwards for the second test. And uh, second for the second and the third test uh, from the 10th of December is what it is given. Admit card along with photo, original photo identity proof should be carried to the center. Authorized person will authenticate the admit card against the photo ID. The candidate should preserve the authenticated admit card for further GDPI WAT processes. So this is very, very important. This admit card is not to be submitted. You have to carry this to the test center, but this is not to be submitted at the test center. You have to carry this as an attested admit card with you till your final interview process happens. Right? So there are certain other terms and conditions that are given over here and the eligibility for different programs is also given over here. So once you go through all of it, you have to click on I agree. Once you click on I agree, they'll ask you for your details. So let me just quickly furnish my details. As per my 10th class form, details, applicant name as per the 10th class form, 10th class mark list. Date of birth as per the 10th class mark list again. Over there. 93. Phone number. Primary email. Retype primary email. Okay, I have to retype. I can't do a control C, control V over here. Category open, nationality Indian. Are you an NRI? Don't look like one. Okay, you can choose three out three snap tests is what it is uh, what is given over here. So snap test one, snap test two, snap test three. Okay, so depending on how many snap tests you will select or whichever you select, there is an option to choose the city where you have to take it. Let me only select snap test one as of now. You can very well go ahead and select all the three. Snap test one, where will I want to take it? Snap test one, I will want to take it at Hyderabad in Telangana. It's see, it is showing me that the seats are available there. It is showing me that the seats are available there because not enough registrations have happened over here. What will happen is that if you delay in filling the snap form, there is a chance that the seats, the number of seats, limited number of seats that are available for that test in that particular city may be filled and hence you may not be able to get your preferred location. So please don't wait till the 24th of November as I told you. Upload photograph. Uh, on my desktop, there has to be a photograph, okay. I have verified my name, date of birth. Please verify your name. Okay, name verified, date of birth verified, phone number verified, email ID verified, test date verified, category verified, and uh, photograph verified. Everything is verified. Save and continue. 
Okay. Okay. Now they would have sent an OTP to my email. I'll just go back there and come back. So oh, I have typed my OTP over here. Now they have said, Ki boss, I have done two out of three info uh, out of the five steps that is there in the form filling out of the five steps that four steps that is there in the form filling. I started, I filled the registration part one. The second part is directly payment or could say no other additional thing is registered uh, required before the payment. Once I complete the payment is what they will ask me for the additional details in the registration form part two. So let me, let me click on, actually, let me, let me, let me click on pay later. Let me click on pay later. So guys, I couldn't access that pay later option, but I clicked on pay, make payment and I made payment for the first test. Okay, I made payment of rupees 1950 for the test first test. After you make that payment, uh, what they will show you is your snap test fee is paid. You must complete the remaining portion of the administrative application form and individually make payment of 1000 per program, right? Click here to continue is what they are saying. So let's quickly quick, click there and continue to go to the registration, the second part of it. So these are certain things that I have already filled over here. Certain things that are already filled over here. Now it is now that they will ask you for your academic details. Do you have any full time work experience? I'm putting no. If you have work experience, you have to mention how much of work experience in months you have. All right. So I'm putting no as uh, as of now over here highest qualification appeared for bachelor so if you are appearing for your bachelor's degree please write it over here if you are completed your bachelor's degree select bachelor's degree over here okay ug education type is uh, engineering ug qualifying degree is be ug name university name is the Rashtrasan Tukuroji Maharaj Nagpur University, 10th marks in percentage is what is being asked. So percentage pahi likhna hai. 12th marks in percentage is also what is being asked, 93.20. Aggregate UG percentage awarded by your college. So far, if you are doing, you know, if you are appearing for that, they will not ask you your UG percentage. Okay, but if you say that you're done with your bachelor's degree, then I will ask you for your UG percentage also. So I have gone ahead and entered that. Now select program that you want to apply to. Select program that you want to apply to. Okay, now this is the point where you have to select which programs you want to apply to. As I told you before, select before filling out this part, please pick your calls, pick your mobiles and, you know, talk to your mentors, talk to your parents, which kind of programs, which talk to your seniors if you want to, which kind of programs is what you are really looking forward to. Don't blindly go and tick mark all 26. Pura 26 karne ke liye 26,000 additional aapko pay karna padega. Just make sure that you are looking at, you, you are targeting the correct colleges that match your profile that you can also actually crack based on whatever the level of your preparation is right now All right so i am not selecting any of these right now because i don't want to apply to any of these colleges for sure so this is my address i have put down uh, put it over here and uh, that's it Hyderabad city Hyderabad. okay that is a valid city is what they're saying snap test one now here also here also it will give me an option to select additional tests. So if I select snap test two over here, snap test two over here, they'll ask me to select city, city or test center for snap test two also, right? So here also, even if in the first part, you have not gone ahead and selected all the three, there is a chance that you select uh, it over here. Now save and continue. So, the next part of registration is done. Primary email ID and alternate email ID should not be the same as what they are saying. So alternate email ID, I, I will give some alternate email ID over here. Okay. 
that should be done. So I am done with my registration. I am done with my registration. If I had to, if I want to edit any part of it, if I want to edit any part of it, let us see if it gives us a chance to edit our application form also. So I don't uh, find any way place where I can go back and edit the form. So my form filling is uh, officially done over here because I've come, come to the completion part of it. So before you click on save and continue at the completion form, please make sure that you are please make sure that everything is filled in correctly so there is an option to edit which is given over here if you click on your personal details you can click on your personal details over here but it will not it will only show you a preview of your form it will it won't it won't uh, let you the form let won't let you click on anything else or edit anything else what it will let you edit is only the programs that you want to select as well as the number of tests that you want to select. Those are the only two things that you can edit after making the initial payment for one of the tests. After making the initial payment and uh, after making the initial payment, these are the only two things that you will be allowed to change. Whether you want to go for any additional test, that, all, that is something you can change. Whether you want to so go for any additional program over and above whatever you have already selected is also something that you can go ahead and change. So there is, if you belong to any of these categories that is given over here, you will have to upload the documents over here, depending on whatever categories you have put over there. So this is more or less, this is more or less about the snap form. This is more or less about the snap form. This is these are the things that you have to keep in mind these are the things that you have to keep in mind when you are filling the, the form so after watching this video if you have any kind of doubts related to what else is required if, if you have any specific doubt which is specific or personal to you please mention it in the comments we will be more than happy to help you out in understanding and uh, in helping you out to fill the form correctly thank you thanks a lot